Hi, I'm Lisa Faulkner and I'm going to be firing up the barbecue to make steak tagliata. Now I'm going to be using Red Tractor Assured ingredients today which means that I know the food I serve my family has been prepared and checked by independent experts to meet farming and animal welfare standards. I've got some beautiful sirloin steaks here. Now they have a bit of a fat along the side of it and the best thing to do is to cut just three times because just under the layer of fat there's a layer of sinew that's really quite hard and tough and if you cut it then your steak will stay really nice and juicy. Then I'm going to get some olive oil and I'm just going to oil my steaks and on the other side and then I'm going to put some salt this side and that side and some pepper as well. There we go. So these can just sit and wait now, they're ready for the barbie. I'm going to make a really, really easy dressing for my pea and radish salad. So I'm going to take some lovely extra virgin olive oil and it's probably about 100 ml. So it's about six or seven tablespoons and some red wine vinegar. If you've got white wine vinegar, you haven't got red wine, that's absolutely fine. And I'm going to zest my lemon and make sure you're only getting the zest and not the white bitter pith. And that will just add a real freshness to this dressing. So you can chop that and give that a nice squeeze. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and I'm just going to whisk this up. And then we've got a lovely dressing, so that can sit there. Now I've got some radishes here, and they are gorgeous. They really do add a little bit of a kick. There is a little bit of pepper in a radish, and it's just absolutely delicious probably enough. So onto this lovely plate I've got some pea shoots and some peppery watercress and actually those pea shoots are really sweet and absolutely delicious. So I'm just going to arrange these on the plate and I've got some peas here. Now you can use cooked peas or you can use fresh peas. I've got fresh peas here and they're really nice, they're really sweet and they just add a little bit of crunch and texture to the salad. And my lovely radishes go on top. They do add a really lovely bit of colour. I've also got some Parmesan cheese here and I'm just going to slice it with a, just a little vegetable peeler just to get some really nice little shavings and again with the steak then you've got a really lovely nuttiness to this cheese which is just absolutely delicious. So that's all ready. I've got my salad ready, my dressing, my cheese, now to cook the steaks. So my barbie is really hot. When you're cooking steaks, you want it absolutely burning hot. You want to hear that sizzle. And just leave them. Don't be afraid just to leave them. They're going to take about, I'd say about two to three minutes each side for a nice medium steak. So these are ready to turn. Look at them. I think these babies are done. So now I need to leave, leave these to rest for about five to six minutes. So my steak is rested. I'm going to slice it and put it on top of my lovely dressed salad, a bit of Parmesan and a drizzle of truffle oil. Go easy on it because it's really strong, but I promise you it's delicious. Tinsy bit of salt. And there you have it, steak tagliata. Mm -hmm.